The Chengdu J-10, NATO reporting name Firebird also known as Vigorous Dragon is a single-engine, multi-role fighter capable of all-weather operation, configured with a delta wing and canard design with fly-by-wire flight controls, produced by the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The J-10 is mainly designed for air-to-air -air combat, but can also perform strike missions. In this video, well we'll also analyze controversy that J-10 is based to Israeli Lavi fighter aircraft. In 1981, People's Liberation Army Air Force Commander, Zhang Tingfa submitted a proposal to Deng Xiaoping for the development of a third-generation fighter. It was accepted, later that year by the Central Military Commission. It was the first Chinese aircraft program, to incorporate modern development and acquisition processes design, proposals were made by the three major aircraft design institutes. First Shenyang's proposal was based on its cancelled, J-13 with AF-16-like straight wing. Hongdu's proposal was MiG-23, or Su-24-like with variable sweep wing. Chengdu Aircraft Design Institute's proposal was a Saab 37 Vigan-like design based on its cancelled J-9. CADI's proposal was selected in February 1984. The following month, CADI and Chengdu Fighter Factory were formally directed to develop and manufacture the aircraft, respectively. Song Wensong became chief designer. The first J-10 was assembled in June 1997, Lei Chiong flew the first flight on 23 March 1998. The first aircraft were delivered to the 13th Test Regiment on 23 February 2003. The aircraft was declared operational in December of the same year, after 18 years in development. Weapons tests occurred in the fall of that year. The design was finalized in 2004. The J-10 became operational in 2006. It was officially unveiled by the Chinese government in January 2007. Since its services in China, J-10 got a variant till now. J-10A, single seat variant. The export designation is F-10A or FC-20. J-10AH, Naval version of J-10A. J-10S, tandem-seated trainer variant of J-10A. J-10SH, naval version of J-10S. J-10B, an upgraded J-10, initially identified as Super-10. It features a lighter and stealthier divertalis supersonic inlet, a longer nose radome possibly housing an active electronically scanned array radar an electro-optic targeting sensor and a new electronic warning or countermeasures pod atop the vertical stabilizer. The aircraft is powered by the AL-31 FN M1, one unit was flown with a WS-10A in July 2011, but the engine was not selected for the initial production batch. The aircraft's first flight occurred no later than December 2008. J-10B TVC Demonstrator a prototype fighter based on J-10B that is equipped with WS-10B thrust vectoring control engine. The fighter has super maneuverability, capable of performing Cobra maneuver. J-10C, an upgraded version of J-10B, it is equipped with an indigenous active electronically scanned array, fire control radar and Gryazov Shapunov 23 gun. With the help of 11 hardpoints, it become capable to carry 90mm unguided rocket pods, an LT-2, LS-6, GB-3, GB-2A, GB-3A, FT-1 guided bombs and KD-88 anti-ship as well as YJ-91 anti-radiation missile. For Air Supremacy Imaging Infrared Seeker PL-10 and new long-range dual-pulse rocket motor PL-15 beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. J-10CE Export version of J-10C may also be known as FC-20E, Pakistani-specific variant will be called J-10CP or F-10P. The J-10 is similar to the Israel Air Force LAVI, this controversy raised on the initial development stages of J-10 and LAVI aircraft. This controversy raised again, when China offered J-10 to Pakistan in 2006. The Siberian Aeronautical Research Institute engineers believed, 
that the aircraft was more or less a version of the Lavi aircraft, because of particularly in the use of canards, has also raised suspicions. Incorporating a melting pot of foreign technology and acquired design methods. In 2008, aviation publishing house James alleged, that China's development of the Chengdu J-10 had benefited from technical information from the LAVI project, citing Russian engineers, who claimed to have heard this from Chinese colleagues in 2007. The J-10's designer, Song Wensong denied any connection with the LAVI, pointing to similarities with the Chengdu J-9 which cancelled in 1960s. This view is supported by Song Wensong, who worked on the J-9 and became the J-10's chief designer and People's Liberation Army Air Force, Major General Zhong Weigang. This was echoed by People's Liberation Army Air Force, Major Zhong Weigang in 2012, in his interview he also said in fact, during the 1980s. The decision to develop the Lavi aircraft was controversial, both with the Israeli public, due to the enormous associated costs, and particularly with the US government due to competition with American jets on the export market, as well as by 1984 Israel with a population of 4 million, had the world's highest military expenditure as a proportion of GDP at 24%. These issues contributed to the ultimate cancellation of the aircraft, by the Israeli government, during the flight test phase of development in August 1987. He also said that the controversy would be resolved, when Israel's defense minister denied reporting by the Sunday Times of London in 1988, that Israel and China had agreed to develop a fighter derived from the Lavi aircraft. But still many analysts have believed that, J-10 is derived from Lavi aircraft with help of technology which secretly sold to China. What is your opinion behind this controversy? Let us know in comment box, thanks for watching the video.